And welcome back. The Canaries rallied to win that game last night after falling behind 6-0 in the first inning. They played a noon game against Sioux City today and looking to start a winning streak in front of a lot of kids out there today on a beautiful day for a ball game. Uh, first inning, Jeremy Hazelbaker hits one deep. It's going to go off the wall, and uh, they do score at least one run on that. That makes it one to nothing. He ended up with a single on that bomb. Now, still in the first, nice leaping catch by Mitch Glasser. Well, the inning would have been worse. Canary's just down one to nothing. They're down two to one in the second inning. When Graham Lowe hits one to third, takes a kind of a funny hop. Burt Reynolds scores, and it's a 2-2 ball game. Fourth inning, Adam Sasser sasses this one. Says, throw it over the plate. I'll hit a home run in a sassy way. That made it four to nothing in favor, uh, four to two in favor of Sioux City. And this one made it five to two in the eighth inning. It's going to be Drew Stankowitz knocking in Hazel Baker. It's five to two at bottom of eight. Clint Coulter, just like he did in the game last night when I was shooting, right down the right field line. And that is an opposite field homer with a runner on base. It's five to four. But this guy struck out 12, and the Explorers scored seven in the top of the ninth. Final score was 12 to five in favor of Sioux City. The Birds have lost 23 of their last 30 games. The Twins now trail Cleveland by half a game in the Central Division, and Sunday's loss to the Indians is going to linger in Twins fans' memories for a while. Bottom of nine, Twins down 3-2 with two on. Marvin Gonzalez to the wall. The game-tying run scores, so we're tied. And they look for the game winner, and Adrianza is dead meat at home plate. If they'd held a third, they had runners on second and third with one out. So it goes to extra innings, and this guy, Carlos Santana, yeah, the musician, hits the grand slam. Uh, I'd break out into Santana songs, but you really don't want me to do that. Seven to three. He also hit the game winning walk off home run against the Red Sox last night. It has been quite a year for this guy, number 24, Brock Anderson of Lenox. All he's done is pitch his Orioles to the State B High School Championship in the spring, and then his Legion team won the State B title on its home field just a couple of weeks ago. And now he's going to be taking his talents to Brookings to pitch for the Jackrabbits, who need some pitching. Anderson has really been fun to watch throughout his high school and Legion career. Speaking of baseball, in those games last night at Mitchell in the State Amateur Baseball Tournament, Alex beat Tabor 10-3, and Milbank won that late game 6-5 over Mount Vernon. Mount Vernon scored three in the ninth to tie it, but Milbank ends up winning at 6-5. In the games tonight, scoreless in the fourth. Clark Northfield play after that. We'll have highlights of that Garrison and Menno game for you tonight at 10. The South Dakota State football team has certainly established itself as a consistent threat to win the FCS championship on a yearly basis. The Jacks are picked third in the national preseason poll, despite losing their all-time best quarterback in Terran Christian to graduation. But this team has lost other big names in recent years, like Zenner, Goddard, Winnicky, uh, just like the Bison, who are constantly reloading. John Stigelmeyer's team is doing the same thing this year, in fact, year after year, and it sounds like they've finally made a decision regarding who's going to be the quarterback. I think it's going to be Jabari Gibbs. You know, I think he keeps doing things that, that, that allows him to maintain the number one quarterback. I mean, he's real even keel. I guess the term would be he's a cool uh, guy. He's a cool player. Uh, he does have the, the athletic ability like Taron. I don't think he's quite as fast. He's got a good arm. I don't need to feel so much pressure and don't have so much pressure on myself because we do have so many outstanding, you know, offensive players on our team. So just get the balls to them and they'll make me look good. That's the attitude to have as a quarterback. The Jacks will open their season on Thursday, August 29th at Minnesota against the Gophers. And that's a look at sports. We'll all be right back.